Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. And unless you've been living in a particularly well soundproofed hole in the ground, you've probably heard of a little thing called Fortnite. Yes, it's the Battle Royale that's just a little bit of a big deal, and it's on every platform under the sun. It's on Mac, it's on PC, it's probably on Linux, I don't know because I didn't research that part. It's even on iOS, it's on Xbox, it's on PlayStation, it's on pretty much every platform out there, except Android, except Switch. Many people have been asking, where is this? this so-called Switch version, even though there's been absolutely no confirmation, but people are still asking, and we're here to hopefully try and maybe answer some of the questions? That's right, today we're going to be discussing the plausibility of Fortnite coming to the Switch, the rumours surrounding it and potential release dates, you know, all that sort of stuff. We're going to be delving into all the detail we have and uh, see what we can come up with, eh? because Google Trends says that everybody's searching for it. But anyway, enough waffling, let's dive right into things. Okay, I want to nip this in the bud right away. I've seen several people say, and I mean quite a lot of people actually, on things like Reddit and Twitter, and even on our own comment section saying that Fortnite couldn't possibly come to Switch for one reason or another. And frankly, for all the reasons that I've seen, none of them hold any water, so I want to try and dispel some of that quickly just to make it absolutely clear. Number one, and this is the one I see more than any other, is that the Switch can't run Fortnite which is not true. Look, right, I mean, the Switch is not as powerful as the Xbox One or the PS4. That's absolutely true, and it's nowhere near, you know, sort of like a superior, ultra, you know, £4,000 gaming rig. Of course it's not. It is a portable system, which you dock. But if I can get Fortnite to run on the PC that I bought on Gumtree for £100, that's about four years old, yeah, it can run on Switch, because my PC doesn't even have a dedicated graphics card. That's why the footage looks so crappy. Also, the game's running on iPhones. It's running on iOS. You know, it's running on iPads and stuff like that. And yes, it's not running on every iPhone. It's not going to run on anything less than a 6S, I believe. But it still runs on, you know, a, a 6S is what? A, a four, five-year-old phone? You know, it's outdated. Tegra can more than handle this kind of thing. I mean, this this thing here, this is my phone. This is a 200 quid Chinese phone that I just bought. It's a, it's a Xiaomi Mi A1, if you're wondering. If this thing can run player unknown battlegrounds which it can i tried it then fortnite can run on a switch it just can i mean the game is fairly well optimized as it is and they can optimize it further because the switch doesn't have any hardware variation so they know exactly how it's going to run on every single switch they don't have to put any wiggle room or anything like that it, it will just it, it can run it it just can and if you're thinking that just battle royale as an idea couldn't run on a switch well there's already a battle royale game coming out that looks an awful lot like fortnite what's it called Crazy Justice. Another argument that I've seen admittedly far less frequently, but even so, worryingly frequently, is the idea that it couldn't run on the Switch because Nintendo doesn't allow online lobbies with their online service, which is complete rubbish. Doom runs on the Switch, which is another argument for it can run on the Switch. The Switch is powerful enough because Doom can run on it, but also when you play online, Doom has full good old-fashioned lobbies, just like you'd expect, well, just like any other version of Doom out there. So, yeah, that's that argument blown out of the water. I think this spawns from the fact that FIFA doesn't have proper lobbies or something like that. I've never actually played FIFA on the Switch. That's a lie. I played it at a preview event for five minutes. And I think somebody reported that it was down to Nintendo and it was Nintendo's fault because Nintendo doesn't support it and it's, com it's complete rubbish because Doom's got it, hasn't it? Another argument I've seen is that you wouldn't be able to guarantee 100 players online because Nintendo doesn't allow cross-play. Again, complete rubbish. Because you got Rocket League, and Rocket League has cross-platform play right out of the bag. You can play on people from uh, from Xbox One and, I think, PC. Not PlayStation 4, though, because Sony are strange. And that's got lobbies in it as well. It's not, it's not an issue. It's not an issue. There is nothing holding back Fortnite from landing on the Switch. It is perfectly viable. There are no roadblocks. There are bound to be some speed bumps in terms of performance and things like that. But there are things that can be overcome. There is no br big bricks wall saying no Fortnite on Switch. There just isn't. Nintendo does support free-to-play. It does support microtransactions. And it also supports big maps because... Have you even heard of Breath of the Wild? Now, of course, just because it could come to the Switch and it's totally plausible that it will, that isn't a guarantee that it will, of course. 
Although we will be assuming for a lot of this video that <laughs> it is. So with that in mind, let's talk about release dates and release windows and release schedules and, you know, all that sort of thing and announcements and... Yeah, yeah. Just to clarify, we don't know anything when it comes to release dates for certain. We're only relying on hearsay and rumors and just good old fashioned common sense and even just, you know, experience in the industry because I think combined we've got over 50 years experience. I've contributed about three. The biggest factor of all is because the devs themselves have actively just said they want to bring it to the Switch. That's pretty good. Creative director Donald Mustard, which is the best name in the world, by the way, had this to say on the old Twitter. I play Fortnite on PC, but would love to play it on my Switch. Are you interested in making it throw the Switch? Yes. Yes, I am. Hopefully we do that at some point speaks for itself. So that is solid, that is genuine, that is out there, the tweet is still there, hasn't been deleted or anything like that, so that is there. But it's still a bit weak source. However, there is a big rumour going around at the moment, and I think this is the primary rumour when it comes to Fortnite on Switch, coming from one Leaky Panda which is a horrible image. Leaky Panda is a reliable source. They managed to properly predict the March Nintendo Direct. So yeah, they've got things right. So it's not entirely groundless. It's not like me going on Twitter and just saying, Fortnite's coming to Switch yesterday. The story goes that Fortnite will be announced for Nintendo Switch at E3, which makes an awful lot of sense, to be honest. However, Leaky Panda has said to take this with a pinch of salt, because it's not any sort of like proper leaked information, hasn't seen any official documents or anything like that. It is gossip. So again, kind of loose, but it's all we've got. Given that the game is entirely free, if you want it to be, you can just download it, play it for free to your heart's content. I can totally see Nintendo doing that whole thing where they go, this is, you know, Fortnite's coming to Switch and it'll be available shortly after this presentation. I can totally see that happening. What's more likely though is it's going to be shortly after E3, maybe a late summer thing, or potentially even a September thing to sort of show off a ah, Nintendo Switch Online. Ooh. Rest assured, if it is announced by Nintendo at this year's E3, then it will be coming out this year, 2018, because Nintendo have said that their E3 presentation is all about games coming in 2018. Yeah. To be honest, in my view, I think this is less of a case of if Fortnite will come to the Switch, and more of a case of when. The Switch is the portable, handheld, dedicated gaming system out there, and I think they'd be absolutely mad to pass upon the opportunity. Because, I mean, who doesn't like money? And people do spend money on this thing. I wouldn't, but that's me. Unless, of course, they have some specific Switch exclusive stuff. Because according to Leaky Panda, there's going to be some specific Nintendo IPs exclusive stuff in this Switch version when it comes to the P versus E save the world mode that I haven't actually tried because it required an additional download. This is what Fortnite was before it became known for its Battle Royale. It's kind of like a Waves of Enemies co-op, a bit like Gears of War's Horde mode not surprising considering it's epic games. And even then I think they'd be mad not to include some exclusive stuff in the battle royale mode as well, you know, just skins, things like that. I mean, who can't imagine having a Link outfit and having the glider be like the paraglider from Breath of the Wild. I mean, it's just just too perfect. Also, who doesn't want to run around as Waluigi? <laughs> exclusive stuff also doesn't mean there's going to be an issue with crossplay because again, we've already seen it in Rocket League. There are Nintendo specific items in there that you can still use online and stuff like that. Only annoying thing is they don't appear on people's <laughs> systems if they're not a Nintendo Switch. So, you know, I mean, they could do that if push came to shove, but ideally I'd like to be able to look at all the PC players and run around as Link going <laughs> and then dying because I'm not very good. I'd also absolutely love to see gyro aiming, you know, Splatoon style motion control aiming because that stuff is to die for. And they've, we've, we've seen it in Doom again already. So yeah, I can totally see that happening if they want to include it. I think they'd be mad not to, to be honest, as long as it's actually, it's, it's more like Splatoon 2 and less like Doom because Doom... You know, Bethesda, sorry, id, sorry, but it's just not sensitive enough. Right now, to be honest, I think it's more of a waiting game than anything else. We're just going to have to wait for Epic Games and Nintendo to, you know, finally pull their heads out of the sand. Or the ostriches don't really do that. Let us know it's coming, let us know when, and, you know, chances are it's going to be E3, I reckon. Although, again, we don't know for certain. It's all, it's all speculation. 
but it, it's it's too good a fit really isn't it i mean the idea of being able to take it on the go and you know stick your hot spot up and stuff like that it might not be that great a connection but i'm sure you can make it work people do it all the time with splatoon or just going to a friend's house or someone wants to use the tv and you can continue to fortnite it up on your nintendo switch it just just sounds great to me does it to you? Let us know down there in the comments. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you build a series of stairs up towards that subscribe button and subscribe <laughs> and be sure to check out nintendolife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>